Welcome to our dream world. Another magical carpet from Kerala that elevates you to a Sufi level from the mundane community based Indian matrimony. Director Naranipura Shanavats gives you Sufi Yum Sujata Yum. As the name suggests, the story is built around Sufi, a Sufi musician, and Sujata, a mute lady in the village. The very first shot of the film announces the quality of the film. In quick succession, between a minute or two, you know that there is a love story gone sour, that there is a matrimony that is uh, going through challenges, and that music is going to be the backdrop of your experience in the next two hours. The film is shot, which is of course a plus point to Kerala, and uh, it's imaginative. It doesn't follow the usual lines that we see in other branches of our cinema. In fact, it does at a level because it deals with an intercommunity love story that goes sour. It begins with the hero of the film coming back to a certain place where he shall come to pass. This is the place where he met his lady love in Sujata, played by Aditri Rao Hydri, who is now married to Rajiv, played by Jay Surya, and is in Dubai. They rush back for the last rites. And the rest is a story that moves partly in the past and partly in the present. The present deals with how the local community deals with his death and how uh, the Sufi music is celebrated because uh, he incidentally dies at the ninth anniversary of Abu, his guru, Abu, played by Swami. Shunya and uh, the couple who are in Dubai come to pay their last respects to the departed soul. What happens? Where is the twist? Is what the story is about. I would believe that uh, the filmmaker errs early. He's a poor, he's a poor starter, like many Indian batsmen. You know, they take they are shaky starters. I think the filmmaker spends a little too much time in establishing the genre, the milieu, and the Sufi background. Not necessary. I would have loved if uh, music director Jay Chandran was given a little more space and a little more music. He is so good. He is so compelling. And the songs that are there, rendered by Arjun Krishna, Madhuvanti Narayanan, Sudhi Palanad, Amruta, Suresh, all need to be heard to be believed. They are on a completely different level. It's been a while since I've seen a film with this kind of compelling music. Cinematography, top class. Every moment in the film, right till the end, when the main characters clasp their hands, there is an eye for detail. And at the same time, God's own land, is caressed by the brilliant cinematography by Anu Muthidath. I would believe that uh, the film could have been shades better. Uh, one important area where the film fails is in trying to get a poignant performance out of uh, Aditi Rao Hydri as Sujata. Sufiyum, Sujatayum is obviously a story about the Sufi man and Sujata, a mute lady. I think she's very. Uh, she looks gorgeous. And I think that's also the undoing of the character because it somewhere fails to connect a soul and the concentration is about the physicality of the person while the actual Sufi does not fall for the physicality of the lady. So uh, I think there is a minor contradiction there or a minor mismatch there. 
but in his role as Sufi, Dev Mohan controls every part of the story whenever he's on screen. Magnetic personality, he's awesome and worth the see. Sufi Yum, Sujata Yum. There's a different genre of cinema. Built behind a Sufi background, telling a regular story, but placing music and Sufi music in the backdrop. And this, I think, is that move away from the normal, yet sticking to it and telling the audience, I can offer you something within the limits of commercial cinema without having to hurt your sensitivities. I would have loved to see a more soul-filled actress playing Sujata. But well tried, Aditi, uh, amazing Dev Mohan, but I'll bet in an honest round of film awards, both Jay Chandran and Muthi Dat should go up at a national level to collect awards for their music and cinematography. I would recommend Sufiyum Sujatayum without hesitation. It's an experience. Watch it.